Well, we are going to start with our new um, lesson today, and it is all about butterflying. And Rocco is in the kitchen. How's the, how's the butterflying coming? We're all butterflied out in here. We got the kale made, the sweet potatoes are made. It's looking really good. Oh, good. Well, that's the filling for the pork roast, the butterfly pork roast. So let's get it down to our lesson, butterflying, which is a really useful technique that can be applied to poultry, beef, pork, and seafood, is um, a simple technique. Once you know how to do it, it will really simplify a lot of your menus. What it means is to split the food, cutting almost all the way through. So if you take a chicken breast, this is a half of a chicken breast with a little tender still attached. Let's just remove that. You can use a boning knife, uh, which works very, very well. Um, you can, uh, I'll just take this out because this will fall apart if, uh, and this is what you can make little chicken fingers for your kids with. This is the most tender part of the chicken breast. And then um, what I like to do is just use this knife and cut evenly through the chicken breast, splitting it in half. And then you can make a paillard. You can do a rolled uh, chicken breast stuffed with something savory like a ricotta spinach filling. Uh, and just make sure that you don't cut through to the other side. You don't want to have a hole in your breast. You want to just um, flatten it out, obviously. <laughs> so that is a beautifully split chicken breast. You might put that on a piece of plastic wrap and pound it a little bit flat like that, and you have a very nice piece of meat. Uh, butterflying a flank steak, and this is to make a big a uh, roll of um, something very savory for a uh, Sunday supper, say. You again, take your sharp, sharp knife and cut through the flank steak uh, like you're opening a book. That's really the best way to describe this technique is you're really opening a book and you are keeping the meat the same thickness on the top and on the bottom. And if you find that you need a longer knife. I hope these knives, oh, this one's much sharper, better for this long cut. And just keep slicing through until you get that open book. And then you're ready to fill it. This could be filled with a wonderful breadcrumb mixture, a vegetable mixture of uh, Swiss chard and, um, and um, all kinds of fresh herbs and onions and garlic. Oh, it'd be delicious. And then you braise that using another technique from our cooking school. So just keep doing that until you have an open book of meat. Shrimp, it's very simple to butterfly. See how pretty it looks when it's butterfly? That dipped in a batter will make the most perfect tempura. Uh, you can also fill that and then close it up with a toothpick or a skewer and uh, just cut right down the back with a sharp knife, butterflying the shrimp. See how easy it is? Right down the back of the shrimp. And there it is perfectly butterflied. Now a chicken, with all the bones in, is still called butterflying. When you take out the backbone, flatten it, this is such a nice way to cook a chicken on a grill. The meat, you can see, is almost all of one thickness. It will cook evenly. You won't get one part co um, cooked faster than the others. Take a whole chicken like this and a uh, trusted pair of kitchen shears and just cut down either side of the backbone. Uh, it looks like you're, you know, I really am cutting right through bones, but these scissors work magic. And it's such an easy method. Just cut down. You can use a knife too. Butchers do this one, two, three with a very sharp knife. But I think for the safety of the home cook, uh, just cutting with the shears really does work extremely well. Uh, to flatten it, you take your hands, and this is the breastbone, and you want to really hear that crack. So you just. Hear it, hear that crack? That's what the radio was talking, the New York Times was talking about today. Listening on the radio, you can hear the sizzle, you can hear the cracking so nicely. And there you have the perfectly butterfly chicken. Very simple, don't you think? And then you can butterfly a leg of lamb. We've all had that on the grill, and it's wonderful. And uh, this will absorb all the flavors of a wonderful marinade. That opens up so beautifully. You can also fill this with a wonderful herb stuffing, roll it up, tie it neatly, and braise it or roast it for Easter supper. Turkey breast, another favorite thing to butterfly. I could even open this more by 
butterflying again the two sides of the breast once more and making a very thin uh, pie yard of turkey breast, delicious grilled. And here's our pork roast, but I'm going to save that because Chef Rocco De Spirito is going to show us a great recipe using a butterfly pork loin. We'll be right back. <laughs> 